Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, here to Hot Legendary Wheels. Uh, how's it going, Dad? Hey, it's doing real great there, son. I tell you, we are having a good day today. So glad to have the chance to be with all of our folks out here that enjoy cars like we do in Diecast. And, and we're just going to have a good time today with some that we've pulled out of uh, some of the collection there. So I hope everybody's going to enjoy it. As you can see in the background, we've got some Hot Wheels 9-pack. Uh, we also got some Matchbox 9-pack, the new Laneley, or yeah, Laneley Leaks uh, tow truck right there. Also in the background, we have a 1927 Ford T Roadster uh, from Johnny Lightning. I like it because it's got the Phillips 66, one of 2,760 created um, from Johnny Lightning. Um, also, uh, we have in the background, Dad, you want to tell about this car this that a, you have right here? That's a 1957 Plymouth Fury. Uh, that was a very, very hot car in 1957, and it performed very well, and it actually competed very well against the Ford and the Chevys of 1957. I'm a fan of the American cars back then. They helped put America on wheels. These uh, 1957 uh, Plymouths have been in movies. Uh, you remember the movie Christine? And they've been raced a lot. They were in, they were actually in NASCAR quite a bit. And they were drag race a lot, and uh, they were actually a, a very beautiful, beautiful car. And Chrysler did a great job on that 1957 Limited Fury. So that is our backdrop, and uh, we hope that you enjoy it. And uh, also, we have a special Hot Wheel. You see that, Dan? Yeah. On the top of the toolbox. <laughs> To yeah, there the left, there, it is. there is a special Hot Wheel. Let us know what you think that is. Leave in a comment because it's an old Hot Wheel back from the early 90s. So let us know what you think that is. Um, we're going to get started here to, uh, this uh, this afternoon with some really cool automobiles. I'm going to let Dad Dad give a few facts about these cars that we're going to show you. I'm going to I'm going to tell I'm going to give the name of the car and Dad's going to give you some facts of the car that we're going to show you. The first one we have is an M2 Machines, um, part of Detroit Muscle, and um, it's a 1969 Plymouth Roadrunner. Um, I like how they did this, the green color on it is a beautiful, um, it's kind of like a grass green color, it's a very beautiful color. Um, Dad, what do you know about this 1969 Plymouth Roadrunner? I know 68 was the first year for the Roadrunner. The 69 Roadrunner started out with a base 383 and uh, it had something like 357 horsepower or something like that. Anyway, the uh, that was the base. It had a post or a, uh, a pillar version of it. That was the base version, but the hardtop outsold it, doubled the sales. As a matter of fact, the whole Roadrunner production doubled from 1968 to 69 and in 1969 it actually became Motor Trend Car of the Year. Uh, Mid-year they actually started producing what the GTX had in it was the 440 and had 375 horsepower and it would run a 5.0 quarter mile. I mean 0 to 60 about a 14 quarter mile. It was a very very beautiful car, a very fast car for, for back in the day. And uh, I still love those Plymouth Roadrunners. They're, uh, they're very, very beautiful. And I, we had some relatives that had one. And I always, uh, always loved it when he started that thing up, man. It sounded so good. And when he'd go down the road, when he started off, he kind of bark a little bit down the road. So it sounded pretty nice. Now, as you look at the uh, card on this, I love how M2 Machines puts, puts detail into the cars. But look at the car car, the engine, the detail of it, um, the red, Dad, you notice they had the red line tires on it, mm -hmm. I mean, that is beautiful, um, they have the mag wheels, I mean, I'm a huge mag wheel fan, now remember your uh, 19, what was it, the 1986 uh, Monte Carlo that you had? Yeah, I had, it I had, had the mag wheels on it. Yeah, that was a 74. Or 74, the 1974 Monte mm -hmm. Carlo, it had yeah. the mag wheels on it, I'm I mean, Mag Wheels, no matter what you do, no matter what car you put it on, Mag Wheels will make the car look like a supercar. Oh, I enjoyed that car. That was that was a very fun car to drive. So on the back of here, it shows detail, all about the details about this 
uh, this car that the M2 machines. Um, it has a sky hood, as you can see right here. They call this the sky hood. They have it lifted up for you so you can see the engine. Okay, let's turn this back around. Uh, it has a very detailed engine, and it has uh, it has a die-cast uh, chassis. Uh, it, has a, it says it has a detailed interior. Oh, and also, uh, they put it with opening doors. And here's the coolest part. Rubber tires are on this car, which I think is really cool. So M2 Machines puts a lot of detail dad into their, into their, into their die cast. Um, that particular car came with a 450 with, uh, they call them uh, three deuces, which was three two-barrel carburetors. And they helped produce that. So yeah, there is high horses there. There's a 1969 Plymouth Roadrunner. Hey, give us a thumbs up on this car. If you are a Roadrunner fan, which I know we do have some, that I think we have some Roadrunner fans out there. Um, please subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell because we got tons more Roadrunners coming your direction. Good old Mopar products. Okay, you know what? We're gonna set this big boy right here. Um, the next one is, you know, I'm a huge truck fan. And Dad's a huge truck fan. Oh yeah, man! I tell you, I've had trucks all the way through my life. I have learned how to drive a straight drive on a truck. Well, yeah, yeah, we we are, you know, we're huge, especially the old trucks. Yeah. Um, the older trucks, and so we're going to show you right now from Road Champs. Um, this this is a really awesome diecast from Road Champs, um, and it's part of the Chevrolet Truck Series. It also says right here, opening doors and tailgate. It's the 3100 1953, Dad. Yep. 1953 pickup. What do you know about the 1953 pickup? Well, they had the bubble hood on it, and it was very beautiful styled for uh, for for its uh, time. And still, even today, it's very, very popular. Uh, actually, when I was a child, we moved from one destination to another in a 1953 Chevrolet my granddad had. It was a red, faded red. 53 Chevrolet, but I love that old truck, man. We could we could go down the road in that thing, and I mean the windows rattled, the, everything had a tailgate rattled. But I didn't care, <laughs> I could care less. I was just having fun in that old pickup truck. So you know, it, to me, it was just one of the cool trucks, uh, and it reminds me of the good times growing up. This truck looks, it's got a, it's 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 the it's die cast metal, so the body's metal. It also has rubber tires. I love the dark army green color that it has to it um and it's a chevrolet yeah, i mean man. who doesn't love that who doesn't love chevrolets i mean i i am a chevrolet chevrolets fan. fords i mean any kind of pickup out there you can i tell you what Rams. ram chevrolet ford it doesn't matter what it is you cannot go wrong with a pickup truck i tell you what man that is, it's probably one of the best if you want to consider a tool one of the best tools and, and one of the most uh, being able to use in so many configurations and everything, versatile tools that, that man's ever invented. So uh, I, I am just sold on pickup trucks. This, this die cast is a classic because I honestly don't see Road Champs with this die cast anymore. No, I've actually got a Ford, a uh, 56 Ford. I'm going to bring out one time when we do some Ford stuff and everything. Hey, if you want to see his 56 Ford, subscribe to the channel because. Uh, you don't want to miss it. That'll be coming up in a future video. Hey, it's a hot to try one, too. It's a beautiful, beautiful car. So now we've shown you Road Champs. We've showed you the N2 machines from the 1969 Plymouth Roadrunner to the 31, 19, 3100 1953 pickup. If y'all like these, if y'all love these, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We got so much coming your way. But now we're turning into some Hot Wheels. And we got some more classic Hot Wheels. And these are, uh, oh wow, this is um, this is 2003 first models. Yeah, this is 2003, well, they say first editions. And uh, so if y'all have any 2003 first editions, subscribe to the channel, because what we're about to show you is really cool. We're going back in time, Dad. Yeah, I, I just I just decided, I was looking through some stuff, and I said, oh, we're not 2003. <laughs> yeah. So, look, if you notice on the card right here, it says from 1968 to 2003. This is a 35. This is a 35th year edition right. of Hot Wheels. Um, so let's 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 get into it. Just like last year was it. the 50th. Or as we say, let's uh, let's get the wheels rolling because this is very legendary. Yes, it is. Okay, so first and foremost, the first Hot Wheel that we got 
out of the batch right here. The first hot wheel we got out here right now is a 1969 Pontiac GTO Judge. Mm -hmm. This is a 2003 first edition's number 33 of 42. I love the orange color. Um, I love how they souped up the motor, made it really big. The, uh, the, the Pontiac GTO Judge actually came, many of them were orange. That was a very popular color for those cars. And, uh, you know, the GTO, when it first started, you know, the little song, G uh, little GTO, it had the uh, 389 and 32 barrels. It was just, it was just a, it was the first of the, what they considered the first of the muscle cars. And the muscle car, what it consisted of was taking a mid-sized car of the day and putting a super powerful V8 into the car and giving plenty of speed. So uh, that was uh, what the GTO represented. And 69 was one of the very popular, very popular models of the GTO. Very beautiful, beautiful car. I think it's pretty cool because I don't even think they put out the GTO Judge anymore in the hospital. No, wheels. they don't. They don't do this was anymore. literally the... It was the first edition for the year, but it really, this was the only debut that they had in Hot Wheels of this. So this is really awesome how, and I love how Hot Wheels did this. I, I just love it. It's souped up. I love the spoiler on the back. Hot Wheels, you did a really, of course, Hot Wheels does an awesome job on all their automobiles, but Hot Wheels did a really incredible job on making this look like a beast. Mm -hmm. I mean, it looks like a beast. Well, the GTO in the day was the very... Or should I say it looks legendary. Yeah. All right, so there is the judge. Rachon. Next, oh man, that is also part of the 2002 first edition. Yeah. So we have a 2003 first edition. This is now a 2002 first edition. And Dad, I think you're also a huge fan of this car right here. This is a 64 Riviera. Now the Buick Riviera was a beautiful car, and if you remember the boat Riviera, they had that one. I've got some diecasts that I bring out sometimes. This is very beautiful. But this particular body style here was offered to Cadillac, and Cadillac turned it down, and Buick took it, and it was an instant success. And uh, if you just look at the lines and the way this car was designed, it was one of the very first the Tornado and the Riviera were two of General Motors' very first front-wheel drive cars, and they were pretty large cars. And uh, but uh, they they carried V8 engines. But these cars were very very. Uh, their styling was timeless. If you look at the Riviera today, you can drive it down the road and mix anything that's created today, and that car will stand out and look beautiful, just beautiful. I love how Hot Wheels did this. They made it like a low rider, if you notice. Um, you know, it's, like I said, it's part of the 2002 first editions. It's number 30 of 42. Um, they don't do this no more. This is another um, first edition that's not, that Hot Wheels hasn't put out. I want Hot Wheels to put this back out so bad. That car right there, it, it don't need to go away forever. This car right here, it deserves some attention. Now. I want you to notice something that's on the card. It says race and win online. There's back in the day they used to put a little scratch thing. You would get a penny on your card and you would scratch, kind of like you do a uh, a lottery ticket. And you would scratch it. There would be a code down there, and then it would you could win prizes off of that code. Um, from you could win Hot Wheels prizes. And I thought that was really cool what Hot Wheels did back in 2002 when they did that. And there's a little yeah. thing that you can scratch right there with a penny or something. Um, but, man, they did an awesome, Hot Wheels, you did an awesome job on the 64 Riviera. Riviera, can you please, I want to I just say right now, Hot Wheels, can you please bring this car back? Um, because y'all did such a great job on this diecast. I love, I love, I love, I love the cream color they put on the interior of this car. The orange, the kind of like the, I don't know if it's an orange, but it's kind of like a, 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 a burgundy yeah, color. Yeah, it's almost tangerine. Um, tangerine. <laughs> and also the green, the, 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 uh, the green flames that they put on the top, on the trunk, on the hood, and on the top of the car. It's kind of like a neon green flames. And also look at the wheels, but just, 
there were there were many of these cars that were actually taken and they put a lot of hydraulics under yeah. them and these cars were used as low riders and it's pretty cool if you ever went to some of these shows and you watch and go to the section where the low riders are and they make them jump for you the riviera is pretty cool they used to do that a lot with the riviera they probably still do so if you are a huge fan of the 64 riviera subscribe to the channel please hollows like i said bring this car back bring it back all right, so we're moving on. Those are uh, two of those, as you can see. Uh, we went through the 1969 Pontiac GTO Judge and the 64 Riviera. This is the 2003 first edition. This is a 2002 first edition. Okay, so moving on. Now, we have kind of like another, uh, I, kind of, I call it a dub edition of Hot Wheels, um, but this is, Part also 2003 first editions is called the Boom Box. Um, I love how Hot Wheels did this because I'm a huge Dub fan, and also I'm a huge Low Rider fan. Are you a huge Dub fan? Yes. This uh, this particular car here is it like it's made from the Escalade? It is. It's, it's kind of like an Escalade. It's a, it's it's a, it's definitely an SUV. If you notice, they do not have this anymore. If you notice between the Judge. The 64 Riviera and the Boombox, which it looks like from the Boombox they did get it from the Escalade. They got a little bit of, of, of you know, an invention from a, from an Escalade. But what it is, this car represented the, even the times when the uh, SUVs were becoming in their own. And this particular car, you'd see a lot of the cars and uh, the SUVs then that would have huge stereo systems and especially gigantic uh, speakers and, and uh, woofers in them that I mean just rattled the whole car down the road so it's really kind of cool. I like how Hot Wheels, like I said Hot Wheels does such a great job on their on their cars and you know it's it's incredible we cr we've collected Hot Wheels since, well you've collected Hot Wheels since <laughs> what the 19... When, when they came out. When they came out. Yeah until now and it's amazing how Hot Wheels put so much detail in the cars and how much you know how cool they are to play with and you know right now I'm going to take a moment I just want to say thank you Hot Wheels for, for having these 50 years of, of incredible die cast cars and trucks and vans and SUVs and rigs. Now you got to crank them out another 50 years. Mot motorcycles. <laughs> you know we want to thank you for what y'all do because y'all I mean Y'all, it's incredible, the die cast that y'all make, so thank you for what you do. Um, but this boom box is awesome. I love I love the interior. The interior is a gold interior. Um, they got the black flames with a silver lining. It's a burgundy color. Um, as you can see, like I said, it's, it's, it's definitely a dub edition, and it's made after the, it looks like it's made after the Cadillac Escalade. That's what it looks like. But it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. Offering there, sure. Look at that. Yep. Look at that. The bottom is really cool. Um, there's the back of it. Ooh, look. If you notice back then, back in the 2003 models, they put the Hot Wheels Flame logo on the back windshield, uh, which was really cool. Um, so that is that is a beautiful car. On to the next is another 2003 First Editions, and it's another truck. So we're truck lovers. There you go. Um, this is really cool. Let us know what you think. This is a 1941 Ford pickup, number 41 or 42. Like I said, it's a 2003 first edition. And um, as you can see, it's made of metal because it says metal. Oh, metal collection. Uh, one thing I want you to notice: all these right here say metal collection. So these are all metal. These are not plastic. These are metal. Um, now this one's more of a, you know, plastic, but these that have the metal collection are definitely metal. So Dan, what do you know about the 1941 Ford pickup? Well, I know that back in the 30s uh, with the cars, the 32 through the 35 were very popular. It had the 3 one and the 5 winder Fords, and even today they're in shows. A lot of people will actually put the 30s model bodies on the Fords or use the Chevy 350 as the powerhouse under the under the hood. 
But these Fords here, the 40, the 40 Fords were very, very popular. And the 40 uh, Ford trucks, they had the same type of a look on the front with a huge covered headlights uh, on the very front that had the huge glass covers. But the 41 was just another version of the 40, it just a little bit of difference in the 1941 than the 40. But still, still very popular, very beautiful body styles. That, that they just had so much character, so much uh, beauty in those old body styles there. I love how Hot Wheels did this. They got the yellow uh, color, they got a black, black trim on top. Um, they made it just like a street machine, which is pretty cool. Um, like a drag racer. And I like how they did that. So I had a friend I had a friend that uh, he pulled an old 41 Oldsmobile out the woods and uh, bought it from someone and it had once been a taxi cab and but he uh, completely turned into a street rod. Put a 455 in it and uh, just did a flat black paint job on it. Beautiful, beautiful car. But I was wondering, I said, man, what if this car could talk? What kind of tales could it tell us? Man, I bet it had some stories to tell. And you know, what, what's cool about this truck also is, uh, you notice on top, the truck says, Fly, look at that, Hobbles Flying 41. That's it. Right there, Hobbles Flying 41 right there. Is that pretty cool? Uh, so this is an awesome die cast. Okay, so the last one we have for you today, and uh, if you haven't subscribed to the Hot Legendary Wheels channel, subscribe to the channel, but I wanna show you this car book before we get to the last car that Dad has. Dad has this car book right here. It's called Cars of the Sizzling 60s, a decade of great rides and good vibra vibrations. Um, it's got a Mustang on the front. Dad, you've been looking at this book, haven't you? Well, I've got actually a whole library of uh, automotive uh, information and stuff, from different different uh, decades. And man, I tell you what, if you need, to, if you want to see if a car, like if you see a car, maybe you have a show car, or you maybe you have some car that you want to restore. A lot of times, you can resort back to these car books like this, to see, and it'll kind of let you know some of the things that were. If you want it stock, some of the things are back to spec. Different things along with it that are really good. These these are some real good fun facts and uh, about cars from the 60s here. But like I said, I've got them from decades, uh, way back even up to today. So it's, it's something I enjoy, something I really uh, have always enjoyed is, is cars. Like I said, to me, I can see cars from different decades and it just reminds me of times, places, people, events. It just brings everything back so clearly because I can see those cars that I actually rode in or actually would see on the road at that time. And uh, to me, it is something that just triggers those wonderful memories that are so clear in my mind when I just think about uh, a certain model car. So I thought that was just a pretty cool book. Look at the back of this. Um, it says right here, the Zestful, okay, Cars of the Sizzling is, uh, Sizzling 60s, the zestful spirit of the 1960 rides, again, lively words and thousands of colorful pictures of the decades fondly remembered cars. The whole range of American models and many imported mates roars down memory lane with stops along the way to recall key news and cultural events. Period street scenes and advertising help bring back these heady times too. You know, the people who write these books and the people who have these cars and lend their cars to be photographed for these books so that people will have uh, a representation of that model car, I just want to say thank you. Uh, to me, it's, it's a great thing you do. I really, really enjoy uh, cars so much and I enjoy just going back sometimes and just puts a smile on my face. That's why y'all have to subscribe to the Hot Legendary Wheels channel because all we have on this channel is cars, cars, cars. And we, you know, we don't just show today's models. We like to, you know, show you the old models. You know, the, the old Hot Wheels, the old Matchbox, the M2s, the Johnny Lightnings, the Road Champs, the Racing Champions. Um, the green lights, um, American Muscle.
We love to show you these things because we are car lovers. If it wasn't for the cars of the past that paved the way for the cars for the present, then uh, it would never have advanced to where it is today. So everything today has to lend their thanks and their appreciation for everything that has preceded them. So the last hot wheel we have for you today is also a 2003 first edition number 25 of 42. And it is a Dodge concept. It's the Dodge M80. Um, I wish it was on the road. <laughs> you yeah, know? yeah, I mean, you know, a lot of these people, they, they, they do such a great job. And, and, and to me, a brilliant minds that they have to, to get these concepts designed. And I tell you, there's some of them that they should have produced, honestly. It would have really, to my book, would have really looked good going down the road. But uh, these are, like I said, are concepts, and uh, Hot Wheels takes great advantage of that and uh, has a chance to produce a diecast of something that's very special in the concept world, too. So we have shown you today different automobiles from the past. And that's what we like doing here on Hot Legendary Wheels. We love to show you different automobiles from the past so that you can, you know, it's, it's something that's really awesome, it's something that's really great. And we do appreciate everyone, everyone who subscribes to this channel and who hits the notification bell. We, we appreciate everyone who comments to our videos yes. and who leaves those comments and we appreciate everyone who gives us a thumbs up because we're just getting started we have an infinity that we literally we have an infinity we have some things that we're just we're just chomping at the bits yeah, to have this a chance is just, to show this is, this is just the top of the top to of share, the soil and to share with you guys because i'm telling you um our automotive culture in this country is second to none and and it, the automobile helped to build America. And uh, if you look at the road, the infrastructure we have, where things are placed, where the cities are built, where the suburbs are built, it's all due to the automobile. And uh, so much uh, the automobile has uh, been a part of our culture for all these years, ever since the automobile was invented. Now, what do you think about all these automobiles that we have shown everybody today? Look at all of them, everybody. Look you know, at you know what I think about it? Cool. It's awesome. <laughs> it's awesome. This is, yeah. this is incredible. And uh, we thank y'all for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit the notification bell. So thank y'all for tuning in. Remember, keep collecting. Keep collecting. And have fun with it. Have a good time with it. Life is short. So why not collect an automobile? Right, Dan? Yeah, you got a buck. Yeah, buff, you can go buy a car. <laughs> <laughs> See y'all later. We love y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in to the Hot Legendary Wheels channel. Until next time, keep collecting. See you later. That's right. Bye.